Hello there you and welcome to a Tau fight port which unfortunately for them is sandwiched between two gigantic armies. On one side a gigantic wire of orcs and on the other side a swarm of plague and pestilence. Will the Tau be able to survive the predicament that they find themselves in? And who will emerge the victor in this three-way fight? As always if you do enjoy this content do leave a like and consider subscribing as that's the best way to support the channel. But now Let's get on with the slaughter. Here we go then, ladies and gentlemen. Kicking off today's fight, and I'm really excited about this one. Wondering who's going to come out on top. Are the tower going to be able to hold their position in the center here? We've got the orcs over this side. We've got Nurgle over here. And it looks like the tower already started to actually shoot at the Nurgle. Looks like a couple of rail cannon rounds coming out here, decimating them. And look at that, the XV-8 suits as well. Also coming out with their burst fire. Now, I do kind of feel sorry for the tower here. But they have got a lot of firepower on the line looks like it's largely pox walkers the fast attack units here for nurgle at the moment that are making their way to the front now they're going to be met with this outer box formation here which is made up of Karut, who are going to be holding the line here trying to hold back the waves so that the guns behind them can hold out to their true effect let's go have a look at the orc side here because they're getting pretty close now oh camera going a bit mental there but yeah look at this the boys are charging in gunfire is starting to rake across the front line Losses are starting to be had here. The tower already at 40,000 kills. Kind of amazing. But yeah, look, the closer and closer they get here, the heavier and heavier the firepower becomes. And the boys are getting cut down before they manage to get towards that fruit line. Though in other places, it looks like the terrain is more favorable for them. The lads getting right stuck in on the corner of this box formation. But again, firepower coming out from the center lines here of the tower. Now, something I need to explain here. Uh, when I set up the Tau, there was only enough for three units on both of the attacking teams. So we only could have a mix of three units for Chaos and three units for the Orcs. Now, I did add some Gunners into it, but unfortunately, the Tau just lost every single time. Or did win overwhelmingly as I had to bulk up their defense. So we have largely gone for melee swarms here today. It's just the unfortunate nature. We're only limited to so many groups we can put down. And look at this, though. An absolute surge is happening here. As Nurgle tried to brush through the crew line here, the firepower is just not enough in this area. And they're actually making progress. Clinking in the plague red and right into that front line is helping out immensely. The Poxwalkers here, though, are there to absorb any bullets. Helping to get that demon to that front line just that little bit quicker. Oh man, look at that. They really are just assaulting every single area of this line now. It's getting chewed up and spat out quite significantly, actually. Oh man, the tail might be struggling here. Now, it looks like the Orcs aren't pairing as well. It's a bit more of a grind fest for them. Having taken slightly uh, more losses as well by the looks of it. But they are pushing forward still. The crew are doing the best to hold them back. Now, something interesting is going to happen eventually here. The Nurgle and the, the Orcs are going to meet on the field. And, they, of course, they absolutely hate each other's guts. So, them two armies will fight each other here. They're not just teaming up against the Tau. So, I'm very interested. If this plan here for the uh, Nurgle keeps spreading out, I mean, look at this. They've just decimated right the way through the Karut line here. That's kind of that's kind of decisive, actually, how quickly the Nurgle managed to get through. Just the sheer weight of demons, though. They've got a hell of a lot of plague ridden here. And quite frankly, they're probably going to need it, because the closer they get to this box formation in the center, the more and more guns are going to be pointing at them. You can see, like I said, we've got the XV-8 suits in the center. We've got the hammerhead tanks. There's just a lot of firepower in the center here for the Tau. One thing we are going to have to watch out for, though, is the blood as it starts to build up. And I mean, look at this. Already, there's this insane depilator bodies building up in front of the lines, and they are really struggling to get through this last portion here. With the firepower being at its peak in the center. I think uh, the reason that these planks collapsed a lot quicker is literally because they are uphill. It's a lot harder for the tower to cover these lines. So I think that's why the uh, Nurgle managed to have a relatively good success over this side. Oh, look at this though. Any second now, the Orcs and the Nurgle are going to realize that each other are here. Are they on the other flank as well? No, not quite yet. It's a lot closer on their side. Oh, here we go. The Orcs are realizing that there's another fight to be had. 
<laughs> Some of the boys here charging over. They're being met by box wolves. So they're just going to love ripping them open. This is going to be a major distraction here. This is going to help keep the tower in the center alive just that little bit longer now because this entire flanking maneuver has now met a new army with which to fire. Already, <laughs> I don't know if you saw that then. There was a gigantic explosion went off in the line. That was just a hammerhead tank firing its shell in. And look at this already. He's having a marked effect here. Holding back the chaos. They're unable to push forward into the intense firepower now. Although, I will say, they have actually broken through the Karuk line on this side. There is nothing holding them back now, apart from sheer firepower. And this is a large amount of demons that the Chaos are putting into this flank. Again, though, the Orcs are starting to break through their line on this side. In fact, they have. There's no more Karuk left now. Defending this flank, and the Orc Wire comes storming in. Taking their heavy losses, as they do. Oh my, look at the boys. I mean, look at the boys get thinned out and you get closer. Only the Storm boys and the knobs are remaining here. And even as they get closer, it's an eventual slaughter. Like I said, the firepower coming out of the towel lines is just ridiculous, really. And the closer the enemy I get, the more effective it becomes. But I'm really interested to see what actually happens at this end of the flank here. With the tower firepower coming in, is either side going to be able to push? I mean, we've also got to watch out for this blood lake, because a couple of the tower are actually at risk of drowning if this carries on. Again, though, that's also helping us out just a little bit, making some impathable terrain here. If the blood gets too deep like it has in this area, it starts splitting at the enemy forces. And if the enemy forces are split, that means they're being funneled, which allows firepower to be focused. And that is where the tower will excel here. The one thing that, of course, the Chaos can do with their Poxwalker swarms, as will the Orcs, is build bridges out of corpses. And I mean, they're starting to do that. They're already building this little island extension out here. Like a weekend in the Seychelles. Only, you know... It's probably just as crowded, but yeah. Hopefully there's not as many dead people in the Seychelles as on the field here. I mean, Tower doing all okay, okay. I was gonna say Tower doing all right so far, but yeah. The drowning is starting to happen. Unfortunately, drowning in Coxcu is not a nice way to go. Are we doing on our far, far flank over here though? Is either side winning out? Cause it just looks like we've got a load of plague ridden over here. It is literally a plague swarm. And I think the orcs are struggling a little bit with these guys. The demonic strength helping them to excel at melee combat. And of course, not only that, pretty pain, plague and pestilence as they go about it. But it does look like neither side has been able to push this south end, uh, tower at center line at the moment. The orcs are taking monumental losses and pushing into this area. Though I will say, they have not got blood yet blocking their attack path. That the Orcs might have a decent chance here of starting to close that gap. They've only got so many units that they can blink at this, though. I think they've got, what, is that 700,000 left? The uh, Chaos have a million. The tower in the center, there's under 50,000 of them now. And it kind of looks like Nurgle has the superior force out of the Orcs and uh, the Chaos here. Because it has definitely been surging forward. The Orcs are taking heavy losses. Nurgle is actually surging ahead in kills as well now. Over the Orcs. And I mean, look at our body piles on this side. The Chaos are flinging everything at this. Perhaps this is the tactic of the Chaos. Knowing that they can't get close to the centre line. Perhaps they're just simply trying to build a wall of corpses around their enemies. And then drown them in blood. I mean, that could be an effective tactic. Because these flanks aren't going anywhere yet. I will say one thing though, they have built up enough bodies now. The Chaos have to protect the units behind. These guys are no longer suffering from, uh, oh, what's he called? Like a uh, collateral damage. That's a, you know, from shots that actually miss its target and just hit a random horde member behind. So they are protected from that now. And that firepower coming into the side here from the Tau. I mean, neither side is winning over here. 
both tr are trying to outflank each other, but they're just taking insane losses from the pulse rifles. And I mean that, look at that, the chaos are getting mowed down actually. It's hard to tell between the two here who's actually taking more losses. Oh, the Orcs are getting closer though. Look at this, they're actually closing the gap now. They're getting in, stuck into that melee line. Something that the Chaos haven't really yet achieved. The Chaos on this side are trying to push forward, but the Tau guns are just absolutely mowing them down. They've not yet managed to close that gap, but the Orcs on the other hand, so as long as this Blood Lake doesn't get in the way, the Orcs might actually be able to start inflicting some pain here. Because with every Tau Bio Warrior that dies, that is going to have diminishing returns on their firepower. And it just allows that single unit to get closer and closer. One thing I am going to say though, I don't know if the Orcs can keep up the fight on this flank. Look at this, oh my god, Chaos has just absolutely stomped the Orcs here. With its huge demonic presence. Hundreds of thousands of Plague Ridden. Just storming across the battlefield and the boys are really struggling. They just haven't got the same numbers here as the Nurgle. So is it going to come down to the Nurgle here, trying to take out the uh, tower in the center? Or are the lads going to manage to crush him first? Because again, despite their insane losses, the Orcs have made way more gains here against the center line. <laughs> oh my god, they just got annihilated. I love watching that though, look at this. Big, big group of boys standing on top of the dead comrades. And as they come over the top of the hill, just sheer evaporation happens. Only the strongest in the Ardis manage to get to the front. And even then, they're struggling. But we are starting to make dents. Look at that. We are making dents definitely here in the Tau lines. In the center, the Orcs aren't making that much progress. The firepower is just too heavy there, but definitely on the flanks. Little by little, nibble by nibble. The Orcs with 150,000 troops remaining. So it is probably going to come down to the chaos here then. You're still fighting a battle on our flank. One that also looks like chaos is going to win. The Orcs need to stop putting units into the flank and start focusing on taking out the Tau. I mean, I'm not actually quite sure. Maybe, like I said earlier, the tactic of the, uh, of the chaos here is just to drown them in blood. Maybe this isn't a Nurgle Swarm after all. Maybe it's a Corn Swarm in disguise. Yeah, look at that. Again, the only term to use is evaporation. Even the Nurgle demons here are piling up as corpses in front of the fire warriors. Nah, that's a lot of firepower though, that's coming out. <laughs> 45,000 defenders in the center. So I think this entire flank of orcs has now fallen. Yeah, look at this. The Nurgle are now trying to push into the side of the orcs again. Guys, there's a bigger target in the center. Actually, kind of looks like they're surging forward now. Maybe this is what we needed, a more concerted effort from all sides here. Because in a second, the Nurgle Swarm from that side is going to come pouring down as well. This could be a superior tactic here. Because the more and more flanks that the uh, tower attack from, the less focused their firepower is. Will this be enough to allow them to start to get forward now with these guys coming down? We were getting close before. We've got a load of Nurgle Marauders coming in as well now. Fully armoured with shields. So I don't know how effective a wooden shield will be against the Pulse Rifle. That's a question I wouldn't want to find out the uh, answer to personally. So what's going to happen here then with the Gigantic Swarm? Oh, they're going after the Orcs. This is working so much in the favour of the Tau. The absolute idiots that are the chaos here. Rather than using this swarm to head for the things that are killing them all. They're flinging them at the orcs. And the orcs are just obliging because, you know, orcs. As the last of the orc force here has just been evaporated behind them now. There's a thousand orcs left on the field. Oh, the poor orky boys. I mean, they did a good job. Better than chaos has so far. Kind of looks like chaos has ran out of steam. Yeah, look at this. It's just heavy marauders that are left on this side and they're just being gunned down now. The gals here. Maybe this is their only chance of actually pushing through as this side of the field. The only place where they've got enough units still attacking. And even then, it's going to be a difficult fight here. 
Yeah, okay, chaos, uh, orcs have now officially been cleared off the field. So all these chaos now should be going to our center line. Again, this is going to be a hard fight, man. There's not many chaos remaining. 200,000. I mean, they still outnumber the enemy. But the Tau just simply has that insane firepower. I and mean, nothing looks like it's getting close at the moment. Okay, so what we're going to do? Hit the little time-lapse camera here. We'll be back in a second. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. So, uh, if you've ever wondered how many Tau Fire Warriors does it take to kill a couple of million orcs and chaos, the answer is about 50,000. 50,000 Fire Warriors should be enough to wipe them off the face of the planet. I mean, look at this now. This is just a slow but painful death here for chaos as the last 5,000 come over the hill. But look at this battlefield, man. We made some impressive corpse piles all over the place here. They just go on for miles. I mean, look at this one. The chaos really did start piling up the bodies. And this got pretty deep as well. I mean, look at that. That's some fairly deep blood there. And quite a few fire warriors that did end up drowning to it. So the chaos did actually make some gains here in the end. But ladies and gentlemen, as always, I do think we can be ending at this one here. So... I do hope you had a blast. I know I did. Please do comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. A massive shout out to all of you channel members who helped keep this channel going. And if you're not a channel member, why the heck not? Click the join button down below. And while you're at it, go ahead and check out the amazing Chainsaw Vengeance hoodies. Available now on the Chaotic Pinky Store. Links in the description below. With all that being said, as always, until next time, peace.